Right, hello! Welcome back to Pro Cycle Manager 2019 for episode number 18 of the All-Star Tour. We are in the final stretch, the final line towards that finish of this race. And it starts today once again in Spain. Segovia, Bola del Mundo, 168 kilometers today for a stage that was the queen stage of the 2010 Vuelta a España. A, a stage that crowned Vincenzo Nibali as winner of the Vuelta ahead of a certain Ezequiel Mosquera who will soon, which, uh, well, who would soon get a uh, coat for, uh, for doping. But there is no doping today. There is no doping today. Only the legs will be speaking on the slopes of the Bola del Mundo. And right now, what the legs of Tadej Pogacar are saying is that he's in the fucking fitness of his career. He's making the biggest comeback that we've ever seen on a tour. And he, he wants that dub. He wants that dub and I'm, I'm all here for it. He's already leading the points one, the points jersey. He's leading the mountain classification. Only one jersey, I mean technically two, but, but one jersey is missing. It's the yellow one and we're gonna get it, we're gonna get it today. It's a plus two for today. It's a plus two for today for, two, for the Bola del Mundo. Come on, lad. Please. Please do well. You can see his fitness is, is I mean, getting lower and lower every day. That, that rest day really helped him. The rest day really helped him. But he's struggling. He do be struggling. There's been a crash involving Rafa Maika, Kelderman, uh, Guillaume Martin, and Mike Tunison. There's also been a crash. Involving Steven Krovac, uh, he fell in the downhill of the Puerto de Navafria and never came back on the leading group. I don't think he will come back as well. So that's uh, that's an L for uh, for Jumbovic's man Primoz Roglic, losing a very uh, very crucial teammate in their final train with Tom Dumoulin. That's a good thing for me. That's also good for Buchmann losing one teammate um, with Rafa, in Rafa Maika. Again, good for me. I didn't know that the Bola del Mundo stage had like this climb before, the Puerto de, uh, de Cotos, which is the climb you'd get like in the um, in the stage of uh, oh god that stage in the Vuelta, which is stage nineteen, I think, or twenty, and it's like two uh, symm or it's symmetrical. So like you've got Puerto de Mortuera and Puerto de Cotos, but like in inverse. I don't know if you see what I mean. I stage I won in the PCM League as well. Um, and it ends like at the downhill. Uh, you take like a left-hander. Actually, I mean, if it's the same downhill, we're going to see uh, what happens. Although I'm pretty sure you'd end up on the road on the left here. But... I didn't know it was the same climb. And some attacks already. Mark Soler, Bilbo. I mean, it's not an attack. It's just them accelerating the or increasing the rhythm. Rui Costa won't be able to help me, he's currently 8 minutes behind, uh, I don't know about the, the, the Kreuvac guys, where are they? Kreuvac left Bruni and Adrien Petit, interesting, congratulations. Uh, oh, Kreuvac actually did a lot of, fam, where's Kreuvac? What has he done? Is he there? Mad! Okay, Kreuvac did, I mean, came back in like... A big group on his own. Congratulations. But there's still 33 riders at the front. It's currently, uh, I mean, uh, multiple teams. A multitude of teams spacing, not not just one. I'm expecting Guineas to take the charge as we've officially started. the Bola del Mundo. And it is Chris Froome taking the leadership of the race. Carapaz in, uh, what, P6? What appears to be P6, P7. We've got Garen Thomas a bit uh, behind, same as Egan Bernal. But Tadej is already at the front, making sure that he doesn't get dropped. We can even go 50, I think, to try and recover some energy here. Attack from Miguel Angel Lopez, 18th place of the GC, commonly in the breakaways. He's in the attack now. Tom Dumoulin trying to chase him down. He's lost his top 10 following the, uh, the, the previous stage after a crash in the final 10 kilometers. Uh, Mass is dropped with Bilbao and Chicone. Uran is dropped. Uran is dropped. 13th place of the GC is already dropped, and there's more than 30 riders up the road. That's never a good sign. That is definitely not a good sign for the Colombian rider, as will soon be in the toughest portion of this race now. Seven kilometers left. Uh, portion, sorry, toughest portion of the climb. My bad. 
Where's Bernal? Bernal is holding on well. Where's Primoz? Oh, he's there. He's in Polkadot. I didn't see him. I was looking for a, a yellow jersey. The, the jersey of Yombo, and I couldn't see him. Uh, but a lot of riders are dying under the uh, the rhythm of Chris Froome, the likes of Molema. Carapaz. Carapaz has died. That's not good for uh, for Ineos there. Sorry, the rhythm of Dumoulin as well. My bad. It's just not, it's not just Chris Froome. Tom Dumoulin appears to be slightly running out. Tom Dumoulin appears to be slightly running out of energy. Dan Martin has collapsed as well. I mean, we might attack. We might. Oh yeah, we're gonna attack. We're gonna attack. We're gonna attack. Pogacar attacks. Roglic in the wheel. Bernal does not immediately follow. He does, but a, a slight tad after. He's not always the most reactive rider, is he? Pogacar with the attack though. Roglic in the wheel. Come on, could we have an alliance between the two Slovenians? Roglic obviously can't really fight for the for, for the GC anymore. But if you could, I don't know, help me, that'd be nice. Please. I'm asking gently. Bernal is 24 seconds down. Make that 22, 21. He's catching. He's slowly but surely he's catching. I'm gonna reduce my rhythm. Roglic is not giving me a single relay. Come on, Primoz man. I thought better of you. I thought better of you. 23 seconds. Oh, Bernal. Oh, Bernal. Oh, Egan. Oh, Egan. Egan Bernal is struck. Oh, Primoz as well. Oh, boy. Okay, hold up. I understand why he wasn't relay me. He doesn't have the legs. Primoz doesn't have the leg to relay me. And Tade is going to go for a third win. Make that actually four, I think, because he won uh, in the first week. Tade Pogacar is going to get a l of fam. That's one minute. That's, right, that's one minute. Now, 110. Okay, we could potentially be within 20 seconds of Egan Bernal at the end of the stage. Oh, that's mad. That's mad, you know. That's mad. Tadej Pog I didn't even celebrate with Tadej. But trust me, I am. Trust me, I am celebrating. 118, 121. Uh, uh, we're going to be within 15 seconds, potentially. It was 134, right? So we one third. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We we. I'm pretty sure we're within ten seconds. Buchmann with a very nice fourth position. We haven't seen much of the German in this race, but he's going to come home in third place. In fourth place with Valverde. Geraint Thomas loses a lot. From where is uh, Philippe and Fulsang? Oh Julian. Oh Julian. Oh oh my God, Jacob. Oh Jacob Fulsang. Oh, I expected the gap to be mad, but maybe not that mad. The top five is going to get absolutely destroyed. I mean, like, the top three stays the same, I mean, as, as always. But from fourth place and below, things have absolutely and royally changed. Fulsang is going to take nine minutes today. Mad. I told you that things were going to change. The gap is now three seconds, isn't it? Wait, nine? Hold up. What? One touch. Oh, yeah, yeah, because you get six seconds. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. We're within 10 seconds. Somehow, we're within 10 seconds. We lost eight minutes, 30 on that team time trial. The momentum has changed in our favour so much since that stage uh, 14, I believe. It was Los Matrucos, I think. The momentum has changed so much since that day. But I didn't expect to be within the transfer for like the the fight. I expected maybe to to like be within two two minutes. That was the aim. Maybe go under two minutes, but definitely not to be fighting for for the win of this tour. It's absolutely mental what's happening right now, and I can't remember what are the next three stages because I made the start like so long ago. I just know the final one. I don't remember the two others, but I'm telling you if I'm I, I'm pretty certain I've done the madness stage wise as well. So, expect some some power. But if you take a look at the classification, Geraint stays in 4th place. Julien is now 5th. Because Jacob Fulsang is now 20 minutes dead behind me. Uh, then Buchmann, Nibeli, Landa. Okay. The gap. Oh, fam, look at the gaps. Jesus, Lord. Uh, anyone with drink? Nope. Okay. Well then. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, then please do leave a like down below. Uh, subscribe to the channel for the next three stages
and the final three stages of this all-star tour because they might be as mad as as this one even you know what they might be even more mad but nevertheless it has been an absolute pleasure talking to you guys have a good and goodbye pull up pull up in the gold i'm bleeding what am all the money feeding i don't want to go bombay them i don't know what i do when i go from bleeding leading the pack in black and i'm on with the best snapping with a phone and dab i'll stop them out with the duster put them in the drip and sip blockbuster